Hi folks, um, today's video is on programming a Beofang UV5R radio for marine frequencies. Um, these radios cost like under £20, um, so they're very very cheap, um, but they, they cover all the, the marine frequencies um, if, if you program them in. You can do this manually, um, but what I'm going to show today is the quick way, so using a USB cable, which uh, again I'll have the links down below. Um, these can be bought on AliExpress, there's places like that there quite cheaply. I think the USB cable is like a couple of quid. Uh, as I say, the whole thing is probably under 20. Um, they're quite handy for for having land about the boat for emergency use or you know just for club use, you know, races and things like that there. Um, okay, so what I'll do now is show you the connection. So this is simple enough, you just plug it in here. And then into your USB port. Then next what I'll do is I'll share my screen and I'll show you the actual software and um, how you use it and then where to, I'll, I'll have the, the links to the files down below and whatnot. Okay, so here we go. This is the Chirp app. Uh, Chirp is basically the application, it's a free application. I have a link to download down below. Uh, it's available for Windows, Linux and Mac. Um, so I've got a USB cable plugged in. So plug it into the phone, pretty easy. You can only plug it in one way. Uh, turn the radio on, volume up. And then we go to download from radio. This basically, it, it's kind of like a sync process. You have to pull, even if there's nothing on the radio, you still have to do a download first. Um, we've got the port, this may be different. So you just select which one is your COM port for the USB. And you might have to try a couple of them to get the right one. Uh, vendor, Beofang, and model UV5R. So that's just the model that's here. Uh, if we hit OK, sometimes it does this funny thing where you have to move it. There we go. And it's coming. So if we take a look now, we can see the red light flashing. That means it's, it's downloading the information from the, the radio to your computer. So it'll pop up a wee second. So just waiting. Boom, there we go. So I had all these frequencies pre-programmed in. So what I'll do now is import. So this is what you do. Your list is probably empty. Um, so again, this, this CSV file will be in, on the link. I've put it up to my Google Drive, so you can download it from there. Stick it onto your C drive, and then whatever you're doing the import, just select it. Um, it'll come up with this here. Just hit OK. You can change the, the locations around or whatever if you want, but um, basically that should give you a, a full list versus an empty list. And then if you do radio, upload to radio, which should be now thing. So because you've downloaded, it's got all the vendor information already. So whenever you do upload, if you hit OK, same warning. And this time, instead of getting the red, we get the green flashing one. Finish. And there it's done. And if you wait, you'll see that the light goes green and it reboots itself. So that's it all programmed in. Uh, very simple. Okay, so that shows you how to program them in. If you check down in the details below, you'll see where to get the software, the files for with all the channel listings on it. Uh, there'll be where you can buy it. I've sort of had a quick look on AliExpress and I've seen sellers free posting to the UK for £16. Uh, the cables, the USB cables, £2.30. So all in all, you can have a marine radio for less than £20. It's good value, I think. Uh, it's useful for emergency or backup. Um, if you check out my other videos, I've done some work with uh, electric outboards and um, some people may find that interesting. Um, but if you hit the subscribe button, keep up to date. Um, I've actually got to purchase one of the waterproof versions of this radio. Um, so hit subscribe and you'll get notified when that video comes up. If you have any questions, stick some in the comments. Uh, and thanks for watching. Bye.